Today's video is a short unboxing. It follows on from the recent videos I've posted for the Sony RX100 Mark V, the unboxing, and then the test for the slow-mo footage. I mentioned in the unboxing, the camera is very small, and anyone with larger hands is gonna struggle a little bit because it is so tiny. So I've bought a grip from Sony, the correct one for the camera, and this is the unboxing. Let's have a look. Okay, so the box is so light, you might be, <laughs> you might be thinking they forgot to put the, uh, the goods inside it. Anyway, let's hope they have. Let's have a look inside. So, instructions. That should be interesting. Instructions to stick a grip on a camera. Uh, many languages. Uh, looks like four steps. Peel, place, pressure. Okay, so put those to one side. And the only other thing in the box is a very tiny black plastic grip. Okay, so it already has the adhesive tape on it with this nice tab so you don't have trouble getting it off. And that's what we get. Okay, so this uh, this grip is for all Sony RX100 cameras. Um, it's made specifically for them. It lines up nicely with the recesses on the camera body, rather than perhaps other aftermarkets that might become available that don't um, that don't mould in quite such a nice way. Um, it actually looks like it's a uh, part of the camera like this. I think the difficult thing will be is uh, once you take the adhesive backing off is to make sure it's lined up nicely before you place it on there. Anyway, let's have a go. Let's take it nice and easy. Luckily it pushes right against the uh, the barrel of the lens assembly. So uh, placement's not too bad. Let's give it a bit of pressure. Okay, that seems to be seated nicely. You have to be a little bit careful putting pressure because um, right opposite the uh, grip are all the very small um, and probably quite delicate buttons on the back of the camera. But um, there we go. So that shows that gives us a bit of a profile now. Gives me something to hold on to, a little bit more to grip. It does make a bit of a difference. It really is quite small. You can see um, and I've got fairly large hands, but it's... Uh, there's not a lot to get hold of there. So there we go. Um, I hope you found that interesting. If you're having troubles like I did with the size of the camera, um, this could just be something that you need. If you'd like to see the video with the slow motion footage from the RX100, please click on the link on the right. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please click the white circle and leave any questions or comments below. Thanks very much.